we're here this morning uh, talking about the um, how we want to run the 10 inch 10 and a half inch notch disc blades um, where we need to run the wheel uh, we've been running in the two four fifth hole up on that and that's it levels it makes this whole thing level in other words we've got a pivot point here and we need to run this so that the whole tail section is level and I, I just brought the level along just to show you i don't want to run it this way because then we're gouging up here in other words if i went down with this wheel it's going to make it run off level and what will happen it will nose over on the front and cause a lot of problems um, a, it, it's not going to compact very well here. So you want to get this when you get to the field. Be sure that this whole thing is, this comes up and down. So it's going to be hard to see. But you want to you want to have it fairly level out there when it's running in the field. And we're going to run probably about an inch to inch and a half deep with those covering discs. And in this will compress. So with this system on here, so the smaller the disc blade, now we're gonna go to a nine inch disc blade um, right here, the notch disc blade. So we've gotta position our wheel in a different hole. We started out yesterday and I'll show you uh, what happened um, in a little video. We were going along and this thing was, it was sitting here about like this, um, going through the field. The disc blades are in the ground, and this is on top of the ground right here. You see how unlevel that is? It's pitched forward. All at once when we hit a, um, hit a, um, a, a wad of step, it went up like this, and it was bulldozing. This wasn't even on the ground. And so when we did this, I was thinking we needed to go down with it to level it out, but that's just the opposite of what you think. We need to go up with this. So we need to probably come up one or two notches with this bolt to level this thing out. Okay? Good. Okay, we're here today with our Y-Cam system. And we've got the uh, nine inch STP blades on it. Uh, they do a very good job, uh, straight disc blade over a concave a lot of times. It's gonna cut through that residue like we've got here, like old corn cobs, straw, um, stalks, and so forth. As we go through the field, we want, we want to keep this fairly level. In other words, um, we want to keep this we want to run these discs in the ground maybe about an inch or so. Disc blade in the ground about an inch, inch and a half, and the press wheel on the ground. And so in order to do that, and you can see right now we're fairly level, but with this setting right here, we were, we were running like this in the field. We were running this fairly deep, so we weren't level. This, this unit needs to be level. It's got a pivot point here, and it needs to be level. Um, so what we need to do, I went down thinking that that would level this out, but I just went the opposite way. So we need to loosen this and bring this up probably two notches. This is a nine inch disc versus the other one. There's eight holes here of adjustment. So we're gonna probably be in the next to top hole uh, I think to get it right. So we'll go to the field here just as soon as we get done adjusting this. Okay. The notches. That's good. Okay. And okay, now when we get into the field, we're probably going to be more level with this. Yeah, it's that's going to be about right uh, when we get into the field. We're level with our whole unit 
These are going to be cutting in about an inch, inch and a half deep. This is going to be compressing the soil back down around the seed. Plus, we've got fertilizer on here. So we're shooting fertilizer right in behind this slice that's made by this disc on both sides. We've got two by two. And then as this press wheel comes along, it's, it's mellowing the soil, covering that back up. So we're getting our fertilizer in whatever depth the, the double disc closers are running.